AI has been taking the world by storm over the past few months. ChatGPT, Midjourney, Dali2 are among a few of the names catching headlines. These incredible tools can be used to generate images, code, text, and so much more. Especially during image generation though, AI seems to have a mind of its own, producing designs never seen before by the human eye. We're going to see today what AI thinks about the next generation of 3D printing, as well as a bunch of other cool things. Hey everyone, my name is Tommy and on my laptop here I've got a folder full of AI generated text and images, so let's go through them and see what we think. Starting off strong, we've got a set of images that look rather unconventional. They are all wooden construction and the frames around them look completely different to what you see on consumer 3D printers nowadays. And with the prompt for these images being the 15th century rather than the 21st, you can see why they look a bit different. It's almost like Leonardo da Vinci would have made these during his time. Continuing on with the streak of rather unconventional frame designs, we've got three more images that stand out. The first one has what appears to be an all metal black frame with wheels on the bottom. The second one has an all metal frame with no wheels and the third one appears to be some kind of stand or table. Perhaps this is to reduce vibrations or prevent dust, but honestly, I have no idea. It is rather interesting to see though. All three of these machines appear to be Core XY or at least in some similar fashion like an HBOT motion system. Okay, so this next prompt I was kind of excited about, which was AI's idea of a laser 3D printer. There are already laser 3D printers out there which use SLS or SLA technology, and I was expecting to see some here, but as you can see, all of these machines appear to be an i3 or Cartesian style of machine. The heater block on the left image though does kind of look like a dragonfly hot end, so I guess that's kind of cool. In this next prompt, we've got some cool machines here in a kind of a neon-like style, but what I find most interesting is the text on two of the images. One of them is indecipherable, but the other one clearly says marine. I don't know why it says that, I didn't put that in the prompt, and AI usually has trouble with text on images, so this is really quite interesting to see. We've got another modern printer here. First of all, the bed is floating. Second of all, this machine is more neon and laser focused than the previous machines, and it's not even in the prompt. It's just like this. Maybe it's because I told it to be a modern printer in the 22nd century, but once again, I have no idea. The next three sets of images are all water related and for this first batch we've got some really cool results, I'm actually pretty excited about this. It's like the printers are trying to extrude onto water, at least that's what I'm assuming the liquid is and not resin or something. There's always been dedicated printers that use a solid or a liquid to print with, but hybrid machines, well that's uncharted territory as far as my knowledge goes. Aside from one video that I watched from Proper Printing where he makes a FDM printer use resin. I highly recommend you check out that video if this concept of hybrid printing interests you. This image looks like a boat 3D printer, that's pretty cool. So a little backstory for this prompt is, I love the Amulet comic books, written by Kazuki Buishi. And in one of the later books, I think book 7, some of the characters travel to a massive underwater ship. And the art style is one of my favourites, which is why I inserted it into the prompt. We've got two of my favourite results so far, even though they aren't matching the art style fully. The left image looks like a snow globe with a printer inside of it, and the right one appears to be a printer on some kind of floating tent. We've got some digital art style images here, they're nice and high res, almost worthy of being a profile picture. My favourites out of these are the two middle ones. For our second to last image prompt, we have the AI interpretation of 3D printing. All seems pretty normal, although the models do lack layer lines, and the left image might be utilising non-planar 3D printing due to the model's shape. Finally, we've got 3D printing filament. At first glance, it looks pretty normal, but the diameter is a bit funny for some of them and you wouldn't be using them for printing anytime soon. Welcome to the next chapter and thank you for making it this far. We will now look at AI's thoughts on 3D printing in a descriptive format rather than a visual one like we've been doing previously. Our first question is, what is the biggest flaw with 3D printing currently? And the results are accurate. The four main flaws listed are the range of printable materials, the size restrictions of 3D printing, the time it takes, and the startup cost, which isn't just money, but also time and a lot of learning. Moving on, the next question is, what next-gen upgrades do you think consumer 3D printers will contain in the next few years? The answers actually match up pretty well with the flaws listed in the previous question. This being the speed of 3D printing, the range of the materials used, and the price. These answers are all accurate as over the last few years we've been seeing things like decreased cost, increased speed and accuracy, and I believe this will keep continuing as the years go by. For our final prompt, I've asked ChatGPT who the best 3D printing YouTubers are. All the names I see are familiar, but I don't see my name or a bunch of other people's names. Obviously this list isn't saying one is better than the other, but just instead recommending who to check out. Speaking of checking out, I'd highly recommend watching my previous video which I did with Hamish where he got his first 3D printer if you haven't already. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.